Hey, all right. I wanted to show you a, one more trick today, uh, which is on bit filtering. So um, if I present this, cool. Okay, so let's say that you want to store information as individual bits, not bytes, say for your project. Um, well, you can store those bits in a character or in any other data structure, um, but then you want to be able to access individual bits in those in that character, um, not the character as a whole. So here's how you could do it. You have your character named data, which may contain some set of bits, and we want to access this bit. Okay. So what you do is you create another uh, character or another byte, uh, which we're going to call mask which contains just uh, a one in the position that you want to inspect. When you end those two together, you're going to get um, all zeros, except potentially a one here, if both the data and the mask have one in that position. So if, for example, data doesn't have a bit set in that position, when you end it, you're going to get a zero. Okay. So you can get bits using end, but if you want to set a bit, um, you can basically or using the or operation, data and mask and store the result in data. And then this bit would be set to one. Okay. Let me show you an example of this in assembly. So I added um, this function get bit to uh, examples CSCI 366 examples repository and what we're going to do is to create an integer data and we're going to store eight in it and now we're going to have a mask which has um, a bit in a position that we want so we're going to set one and we're going to shift it by some number of bits in this case three and we'll put this inside mask and now we can print uh, whether the bit is set using get bit and the signature of that um, is it returns a boolean okay so how would we implement this in assembly well we have a get bit function we uh, get data in the rdi register mask in the rsi register and then we can end the two together storing the result in rdi okay then we can check if any of the bits have been set in RDI. Okay, so comparing to our code, we're basically getting this, uh, this result after we end those two together and either some bit is set here or it is not. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to check or compare RDI to zero. Okay, if any bits are set, then RDI will be greater than zero. And we can set this in AL and then sign extend AL into RAX into our return. So we are returning a Boolean, but underneath it's really an integer. So as long as RAX equals one, uh, this will be interpreted as a Boolean. So when we run this, okay, we see that bit is one. You can also go ahead and debug this thing to see exactly what's going on underneath. So we'll step in here and now we can start inspecting our registers. So we can do info registers. Okay, cool. We have our RSI and RDI being set to eight, but you know, what if you're not super good at converting this into bits? Well, you can inspect an individual register. Let's say we're going to print, um, um, we're going to print X um, RDI. Okay, so this means we're going to print a register and we want the data as hex. Uh, okay, not sure why. Oh, for heaven's sakes. There we go. Okay, I was stuck in the mode in here. Um, okay, so we can see that the result is eight, but you can also print data as binary, which is pretty cool. So if we say slash T, 
you're gonna get the actual bits and here we have one zero 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 we're not printing the leading bits so that's another way for you guys to um, inspect the memory um, during your execution okay thanks